Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign for the coming month. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you. And energy could be vice versa. I'm gonna tell you a short story and you decide who is who in the story. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share and comment, this will help a lot the channel to grow. Thank you so much for doing that. Your desired outcome will occur in the very new, near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to focus, to force it to happen. You have the lion energy this month. I usually go with my feeling with these cards here. You are looking to the horizon or a door opening in front of you, but you are really not convinced to go through that door, thinking about, is it a good idea to proceed or it's better to change direction? I'm feeling an indecisive energy here. Not knowing which path is the right path for you. Back to my feeling. It seems that this path or this door opened in front of you, somebody is convincing you to go through that door, but you don't want to. Like a partner or someone in your life or an energy around you is trying to convince you to go through this road or a new path but you're seeing the future and you're almost sure that this is a bad idea. You are not, you are indecisive right now, and but you don't know if you want to, if it's only about you, you don't want to go through this or you don't want to do what you have in mind. But somebody is pushing you to do that and you don't know I don't think you are going through this. You are not going to go there, but you don't know what, how to tell that person or when to tell that person or that energy that you are not. Somebody want this, but you don't want it. And I don't think you are going for it, Taurus. I don't think you will. Let's see the tarot. Three cards for your health. Three cards for your money and career. Three cards for your love life. This is the outcome. Let's see. For your health. We have the world, the three of coins, and the king of pentacles. The three of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Something ended. And I believe that end was very positive, has a very positive impact on you. Health-wise, through your heart, your soul, and even your body, you are so happy because you ended that cycle from the past 
and you are about to start a new cycle you are cooperating with someone here to build something new something you wished for for a very long time you are crafting what you are building here it's kind of a knitting little by little exactly the way you want it to be you are building here in your future and you are dropping what you don't want from the past I've, I'm feeling here a very positive energy, very positive energy about someone. I don't think, Taurus, you don't know what you want. You know what you want from a very long time. But you didn't know what, what's the way to make it happen. What was standing in between you and your happiness your new cycle in life was two things. Obligations in your life, you didn't know how to get rid of it or how to end it. And pride. I believe right now you are willing to change. You are willing to do the right thing that will make you happy. I don't know if, like, in reality you started to act on that or not, but deep inside you, you took that decision that you want to be happy. In your money and career, we have the nine of wands, the seven of pentacles, and judgment. You were so burdened in with this project or work of yours or idea I don't know you were so burdened by not finding the results that you wished for and you put a lot of energy and time in this but you didn't see what you want to see and you kept putting energy on this while deep inside you you knew that this is is not going to take you anywhere because you gave it more than enough. But nothing really happened. The results that you're seeing is way less than the effort and time that you put. But you were very like, you wanted to continue, doesn't matter if it's working or not. You were you kept going, following this project over and over, trying. You didn't like, how can I say this? Just give me a second. You didn't change your way. You didn't change your ways. You kept doing the exact Thing over and over and over and nothing happened now with this judgment you are recalling everything happened in the past and you are want you want to learn your lesson and move on you know that there was something here wrong you did and I believe that something wrong you knew it it was wrong but based on environment around you or a partner or a manager, I don't know. You know what's wrong in here, but the, the energies around you kept wanting to do this and you just went with the flow. You didn't fight for it because you knew that this is a lot of hustle and a lot of headache and you will, you will always fight with them and you, like, they will not agree. So you kept doing what they want to do knowing that this is will not work now you are not i'm feeling the energy of a like a, somebody who is going to 
exactly like the tower. Like you want to destroy everything and start all over again. You don't want anything from this at all. Everything. You are rethinking everything happened in this. And I believe you will learn the lesson about planning the right way before you start. And I feel that that was not your mistake. Maybe it was your mistake by going with the flow and agree with this energy while deep inside you, you knew that that was wrong. This is your mistake. But it's not about lack of vision from your side. Now, you are not willing to go with the flow and do what other people want you to do. You are planning to do the right way, the right, the right thing at the right time, with the right way, in the right way. And if they will want to come with you, they're welcome. If they don't, let them go. You are so ready to start alone. But doing the right thing. Because you wasted a lot of time of energy and energy on something you, you knew from the beginning will not work. In your love life, there is a tower happened here. Something shocked you and that tower happened only to you. It's not on a relationship or with someone or a fight. Or, no. There is a shock came to you, only you, and you are the only one who felt it. Telling you, you are in the wrong place and you know where is the right place for you. And you are here between the two of swords and the two of ones. The two of swords not knowing what you want, what you want to do or what the right thing to do. And with this two of wands waiting for the other energy to come to you. I believe you are somewhere and you want to be somewhere else. You don't know how to come out of where you are. And you are waiting for the other person to come to you. You don't want to approach what you, your partner, your real partner, the one that you have in heart, in your heart, you don't want to approach them. You are waiting for them to come. And you don't want to end this, the situation where you are right now, not knowing what is the right way to stop this. You want to end something and you don't know how, and you want to start something and you don't know how. And you are here, exactly like I told you before. Somebody is pushing you to go through a path you don't want to go through. And you don't know what to do. You want... What you want is to end the situation where you are and to go where you belong. But you are between... Like not knowing how to tell the, the, the person that you are with right now. I'm going to give you an example about this situation. And you, maybe this is, will be easier for me to explain it and you understand what I want to say. Let's say somebody is in a relationship with someone. Living with someone, married to someone. But they are in love with someone else from a very long time. And they stayed with that love of them for a while together. And that love and that real partner of yours, the one that you love, was waiting for you to act. Because you know where you are, the marriage that you are in is done. There is nothing there to continue except habit. And being like not going through the hustle of divorce. And that person that was waiting for you get tired. Knowing they felt that you're not going to do anything. So they left. 
And I believe this is something that happened yesterday or before yesterday. This is a while ago. And you tried to bring this dead body, that marriage to life, but it's not happening. What you want right now, you want to sleep and wake up divorced and your loved one is next to you. But you don't want to go through this hustle, you know. You want this to happen without you putting an effort to make it happen. This is not possible. You have to go through all this to reach where you want to reach. And the more you will wait, the more the situation will be complicated. And maybe you will wake up one day, this person who you are in love with, and I feel this is a deep love, like a kind of a soulmate energy. You will wake up one day, if you will keep doing what you are doing, you will look for them and you will not find them. Let's see. The Page of Cups. Do you see this person as if he is dreaming? This is what you want. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. It will take time and effort, but you have to do it. And let's forget about this person. If you are in this two of swords in your relationship, is this the type of life that you want to live? The decision is yours, my dear. Keep in mind, this could be vice versa as well. It's an, I'm reading the energy. You pick your, you pick your place in this story. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading in a way. Thank you for all the love and the support that I'm feeling from you. Appreciate that so much. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.